If you get one thing out of this interview, you don't have to do it alone. Mm -hmm. And you know that. And I didn't. And thank you again for, for what you guys have given us old folk. Because we're oppressing you youngins. I'm not going to, I don't believe in wishing luck, as you well know. Mm -hmm. Just go get them. Continue to go get them and get better. Thank you. All right? I got you. And this is one of the hot young talents in all of college basketball. Get ready, get ready, let's go. He checked time for Choo Choo. Oh, my goodness. I mean, that's just unstoppable. When you score like that, you have a scorer's mentality. Cheryl, this has been sort of a, a homecoming season or year for you of sorts oh, in, God, yeah. in the way that, you know, I've read that you felt kind of estranged from the program for, for a time. What's it been like to be able to be here and share this moment and, and the success that this team is having? I, I think the word estranged for me is probably great and a lot of it, 50-50, maybe 90% of that was self-imposed. I don't feel that I left the program the way that I wanted to, not only as, as a player, but also as, as a coach. And I didn't, you know, so there, there was a little tension and a little animosity, you know, I know they wouldn't say, but I'll say it on my side. But to come back and to be, I was always close to my former teammates, but to have that camaraderie and watch these young kids and watch them have it and see that, and then that gets us going. And, you know, I'm, you know, have off of, fresh off of knee, you know, surgery, knee replacement, and I'm with my cane trying to sit up there and bump somebody in the chest, just watching them. I mean, I, I'm living the best life right now because of these youngins over here. You know the time. You know the time. You know, Cheryl, it's, it's been 40 years uh, since you led uh, USC to back-to-back uh, -back championships. <laughs> it's, it's been some moons, hasn't it? How do you kind of reflect on, you know, being the one who kind of led the charge and creating the winning legacy that we so commonly refer to with USC women's basketball today? Well, I'm going to correct you on a few things. Number one, it's not just me. It's Pam and Paul McGee. It's Rhonda Wyndham. It's Yolanda Fletcher, you know, all my teammates, Juliet Robinson, uh, Tracy Longo, just to name a few, and I know I'm gonna, you know, hear about it later on, but it, it's my teammates. It's um, walking into a program of substance already, and I was just one of many, so just to be a part of the legacy and the tradition, you know, it's an honor, and then to sit next to the future, the, the bright future, uh, it's very exciting times to be a Trojan. Juju, you know, I'm, I'm curious, what is the legend of Cheryl Miller for uh, an aspiring L.A. Hooper? Yeah, I mean, personally, like, not, like, I wasn't able to witness it. You know, I, you can only hear stories, um, but you I think... You weren't able to watch? No, I wasn't. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I couldn't witness the greatness. Um, but I think just growing up in L.A., always hearing stories of, like, the woman of Troy and the legacy that um, Cheryl and her team left here. And it's insane to think about back-to-back -back championships and, and the greatest player of all time sitting right next to me. So, I mean, I've always heard about it, watching the documentary, you know, just doing that, you can't fully grasp like how hard it was to, to accomplish such a great thing um, twice. So, I mean, it's, it's just looking up in, at the banners every day in practice and, and really trying to just imagine it and what, what this, the team was able to accomplish. And I mean, that's, that's the goal, to, to try, to, try to, to replicate that just in the slightest bit. I think that'll take us far. What's it been like to have that opportunity now to be here and, and develop a, a connection, a relationship with, with Cheryl, who has been so present? Um, this season and your freshman season. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, like, every time I see her, I get a little <laughs> nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Like, just thinking of, of how much she was able to accomplish in her team. And I think that just understanding the history here and wanting to kind of revive that in a sense and, and create a new um, era here at SC was really important for me. I aspire to do at least some of the things that she was able to accomplish and is still I, doing. I, I, I'm going to have to interrupt the youngins <laughs> right here. First of all, Juju, you're Juju. And that's what I, yeah. that, and that's, that's what I want people mm -hmm. to understand. Is there, 
There's no shoes, mm -hmm. you know, to fill. This is their time. And I want everybody, to, uh, and to make that crystal clear, mm -hmm. you guys aren't us, we're not you, yeah. and we're here to applaud and, and support you guys. And what you've been able to accomplish so far in a young career, it took incredible guts for you to come here. You could have gone anywhere you wanted. I mean, you could have gone to the foreign SC. Right. <laughs> you know who we talk. <laughs> <laughs> Don just messing with you. <laughs> but seriously, you could have gone anywhere you mm -hmm. wanted to, but to come in with this type of attention and spotlight that you were bringing in, a lot of people, a lot of players would have shied away from that. So that first and foremost, when I because I was never able to see you play, but I heard your name. And once you announced, I said, what tremendous courage that took for this young lady to come here and take on all this. Thank you. And for you not to shy away from it speaks volumes of the type of player that you are and you will be. Thank you, I appreciate that. Watkins putting on a show here. Show and a move by Juju. Juju Watkins is much watched basketball. Juju Watkins woke up this morning and said, I choose buckets. Uh, show what impresses you most about Juju's game. There are a lot of things. I love your command uh, off the ball and uh, with the dribble, like, and the misdirections with just a, a, a lean where, okay, I see where she's going, she's gonna set, and then it's a slight little hesitation where it's not a carry, and then you're like, to the right, to the right. And I'm like, man, I'd have, I'd have lost this bet because I knew you were setting her up to get here to come back. The main thing that I love and, and where you and I are kindred spirits, is once you get in the paint, absorbing the contact and finishing. I mean, you do that as well as anybody in the game right now and who I've played against. And we're talking, you did say 40, right? Yeah, 40 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But Thank that's, you. That's, that's what I love. There's so many elements and nuances that coaches can't teach. And it's, it's I, I'm pretty sure you could break every record here but if you don't win a championship, that's gonna haunt you the most. Yes, for sure. And that's what I love. That's what I love about Juju. Thank you. Is, uh, Thank you. Because you can't teach that. And you've got that in abundance. Thank you. I gotta go see Juju at USC. You gotta I go, got to see yeah. that. Welcome to LA, welcome to LA. Welcome to LA, welcome to LA. Juju Watkins. Yeah. There you go. Talk about a baller. You get a bucket. You get a bucket. You get a hezzy. Oh, you get a crossover. Juju Watkins has been unbelievable all year. How are you making it look so easy? Well, it's definitely not. It's definitely not easy. Cheryl, you know, you are able to kind of understand Juju's experience of being able to kind of take the college basketball world by storm as a freshman. I'm curious, is there anything that you wish you had known during that freshman season that you would like to you know, be able to advise Juju on in, in terms of just how you either handling it or going through those motions. Let me hold on, get this book out. <laughs> yeah, there's a few things. Um, I think we're very similar in the fact that we had a strong foundation from our family. Um, we had an idea and a drive and a vision of, of how we see our basketball lives. If there was advice that I could, I could give you, Ann Myers, uh, the great Ann Myers, said one thing, enjoy it. Don't lose sight of the fun. Now, it was easy for me to, to embrace that and grasp that because I didn't have the social media like you do. I didn't have everybody coming out of the woodwork and the tags and, and the money and everything else and those attractions and the lights were always bright. And I, in, in the back of my mind, I was wondering, and I've always wanted to ask you, is where is your quiet time? Where this is Juju's time, 
not Juju's mom or dad or Coach G or Coach Burns or my teammates. I want, I want you to find that quiet spot and have you found that? Um. So that's a no. Yeah. That's a, but that's a good. <laughs> That's a great question. The, the that's kid, a great question. The kid. That's, yeah. a, that's a great thing. And I think there's a, I've been intentional in staying away from you. Um, not that I, I don't want to and, and, and have these conversations. It's because this is your time. And before the season start, I gave you my number. Ann Myers, before my season start, gave me her number. I don't recall calling her, and I don't expect you calling me, but you know you could ever, if you ever needed me. But I want you to find that quiet space where no one else, where it's your time to exhale because I don't want, I'm not worried about the physical, because you're, you know, you're a young kid and you're gonna, grow, you're gonna continue to grow into your body. But it's the mental fatigue that I worry for you. And it's not a basketball. Basketball, you're, you're tough. You're tough enough to handle that. It's the business aspect. That's, that is what I, I need for you to find that, that quiet place, that quiet place for you. Oh. Thank you. That's how I roll. That's Appreciate how I roll. That. Ready to go for a final time. The Pac-12 Women's Championship is underway. Mackenzie Forbes buries the three to get things going. Juju calls for it. Juju in for two. Mackenzie Forbes having a day. And USC Pac-12 champions. The Trojan legends have uh, put their arms around us, and I think this is a this is a win for the whole University of Southern California, and particularly the women's basketball alums and the family. Juju, I'm just curious, what are your thoughts right now as you kind of shift your focus to the tournament and what that brings? This is March, so this is the stretch of the season and we're really like locked in on what, what needs to happen. Um, we have our eyes set on the championship, of course, that's always the goal, so really making sure that we're just doing whatever we can to win. Mentally, have you noticed that you're getting a little tired? Like the one thing that, I, that that's been steady is, is is your temperament on the court. I, I've seen you take some shots where I'm like, ooh, I, I would have got tossed for that one. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, Juju, ooh, praise Jesus, that child, ooh, she got the anointing. But anyways, <laughs> I would have lost it on somebody. But as the season has worn on, I notice that you, you're getting a little chippy now. You're like, come on now, that, you know that was, a, you know. So do you see yourself chirping a little more out of mental f fatigue or emotional fatigue? Has that caught you a little by surprise? That's what I'm I wondering. Think, okay, I think it's because it's, I think now I'm a little more chippy because it's more on the line. Like now it's like one and done. So it's like, got you. I think the emotions, I can speak for the whole team. Like our emotions are high, like. Got it. You know, it's, it's just so much on the line. I think that also plays a part now. It's like one and one and done. Like we really have to lock in every single right. game. Right. So that's, that's kind of where that comes from, I guess. See, I like that. I like that. Juju, when, when your team is clicking um, the way that they clicked in the tournament, does it feel like anyone can kind of get in, get in the way of what you what you all do? No, I, I mean, I, that could speak for any team really. Like once you really start to build the camaraderie and the chemistry and um, you know your teammates' spots and what gets them going, I, I feel like that's an unstoppable team. All right, let's reveal your next one seed is the USC Trojans. Their first time as a one seed since 1986. What a testament to the job Lindsey Gottlieb has done there and to the star quality of Juju Watkins. Mm -hmm. As someone who has the experience that you had in, in the tournament, you know, what is your advice to Juju as she enters her first NCAA tournament? She already knows the answer to this. I mean, she said it. She's naturally understands it's amped up, it's heightened. Mm -hmm. Because what did you say? It's one and done now. It's one and done. It's not we're gonna see them on the road next week or in a couple of weeks. Season's over with. Fun was, fun was during the regular season. Now there's no fun. Right. It's, just, it's, simply get, it's simply get it done. Yeah. And look, the regular season is where you make your name. The playoffs, that's where you make your fame. 
It's about your fame now. And you got this. You Thank got you. this. Thank you. Don't leave me hanging. I will never. I feel you. Never. Get teary out on this one because, <laughs> no, for real, but watching you guys and Fetty coming down and, no, and Kenzie and the sentiment of you guys, that, uh, and it seriously doesn't get any better than this. And if anybody is out there who doesn't believe that the women don't support one another and that these young kids don't appreciate um, her story, not history, her story, this kid's the real deal. She's the real deal. We're blessed to have her here in SC.